I am Kenzo Tsujimoto, Chairman and CEO of Capcom. First, I would like to express my appreciation to everyone here today for taking the time to attend our earnings announcement. Every year, we contact a number of analysts and investors in Japan and other countries to hear thoughts about our midterm goals, business strategies, IR activities, and other subjects. Thank you very much for your cooperation. This input is one of the considerations we use when making management decisions. Today, I will discuss our re examination of midterm targets and our goals. This fiscal year is the halfway point for the five year targets that we announced in May 2014. After carefully examining these targets, we have made a revision. We have lowered our goal for cumulative operating income from 80 billion yen to 70 billion yen. But we did not change the 20% operating margin target for the fiscal year ending in March 2018. The 10 billion yen reduction is due to our decision to lower the amusement equipment's business goal by this amount. The goals in all other business segments are the same. Furthermore, the operating margin targets for the fiscal year ending in March 2018 are the same for all business segments. During the first two fiscal years of our five year target period, Operating income in the amusement equipment's business was 500 million yen higher than our initial plan. Consequently, the 10 billion yen reduction in the midterm goal for this business, despite this solid two year performance, means that we have changed our outlook for the remaining three years. Two year operating income in the digital contents business was 1.2 billion yen below the plan. Earnings shortfalls in mobile contents and PC others were the main causes. But we have not revised our outlook for the entire five year period. As you know, there was a change in the method used for testing new models by the Security Communications Association in September 2014. As a result, we had to make revisions to models in the pipeline, and this has forced us to change our development schedule. In the March 2014 fiscal year, operating income in this segment was 7.1 billion yen compared with our plan of 4.3 billion yen. The success of the Monster Hunter Gekka Raimei Pachislo machine was the main reason. But in the past fiscal year, segment earnings were 2.7 billion yen compared with our plan of 5 billion yen. We launched only one new machine instead of the originally planned three models because of the new testing method. For the two year period that ended in March 2015, This segment had operating income of 9.8 billion yen, which was about in line with our plan of 9.3 billion yen. During the last three years of the midterm plan, we had planned on launching four new models, but the testing rule revision will force us to lower this number. As a result, we foresee annual operating income of 3 billion to 4 billion yen in the next three years. Due to this outlook, we have lowered our five year operating income goal for amusement equipments. From 30 billion yen to 20 billion yen. Operating income in the digital contents business was 1.2 billion yen below our plan during the past two fiscal years, but we have not changed the target because we believe we can offset this shortfall during the next three fiscal years. In the fiscal year that ended in March 2014, operating income was 4.5 billion yen compared with our plan of 9.1 billion yen. Mobile contents and PC others' earnings were far below the plan. A. In the consumer sub segment, there were strong sales of Monster Hunter 4 and strong digital download sales. B. In mobile contents, sales of new app titles were weak. C. In PC others, performance was hurt by intense competition from titles of other companies and by delays in implementing brand strategies. In the fiscal year that ended in March 2015, Operating income was 10.2 billion yen compared with our plan of 6.8 billion yen. Earnings were higher than planned in all three categories. A. In the consumer sub segment, there was progress with improving outsourced titles and increasing the efficiency of internally produced titles. B. In mobile contents, a re examination of the profit structure produced a big improvement in profitability. C. In PC others, there were strong sales of Monster Hunter Frontier G. For these two fiscal years, total operating income in this segment was 14.7 billion yen, which was 1.2 billion yen below the initial plan of 15.9 billion yen.
The 1.2 billion yen shortfall was the result of the following differences in relation to the initial plan. A. Consumer, plus 4.9 billion yen. B. Mobile contents, minus 3.6 billion yen. C. PC others, minus 2.5 billion yen. As you can see, the consumer subsegment performed well and there were challenges in the other two businesses. We have not changed our five-year goal of 57 billion yen because we believe we can overcome the two-year shortfall by expanding our lineup of titles. There is no change in our operating margin target of 20% in the fiscal year ending in March 2018. Structural reforms that we implemented during the past two years are starting to improve our profitability. Although this target is high, we believe that it can be accomplished. For the past two fiscal years, we reached this target in the digital contents business with an operating margin of 22.5% because of a big improvement in the profitability. There were several improvements in the consumer subsegment. A. An improvement involving outsourced titles. B. More efficient internal development of titles. And C. A higher percentage of sales from digital downloads. If digital contents and amusement equipments increase as a percentage of total sales, as expected during the remaining three fiscal years, we believe that an operating margin of 20% is well within our reach. As I explained, we lowered our midterm goal for amusement equipment's earnings by 10 billion yen based on current sales of Pachislo machines, but the actual decline in earnings may be smaller. Of course, we do not know how well a new model will sell until after its launch. Therefore, we plan to raise the accuracy of our midterm plan after seeing how successful the two Pachislo machines we will introduce this year are. In the digital contents business, there were significant benefits in the past fiscal year from our measures to build a streamlined operating framework. The operating margin in the three categories of this business improved to between 15% and 25%. Sales growth is our most important goal. We will take many actions to accomplish this. A. In the consumer subsegment, we will use Capcom's intellectual property to enlarge our lineup of titles for next generation platforms. We also plan to continue increasing full game and add on digital download sales. B. In mobile contents, we will use the distribution of Monster Hunter Explorer as the starting point for expanding our title lineup. C. In PC Others, we will launch Dragon's Dogma Online, which we expect to be our next core title after Monster Hunter Frontier G. We will expand licensing operations in Asia and increase earnings in China and other Asian countries. By enlarging our lineup in each business segment and region, we are determined to reach the revised midterm target. This concludes my presentation. We will be pleased to provide more information during the question and answer period. I am Haruhiro Tsujimoto, President and Chief Operating Officer of Capcom. Today I will talk about our strategies and our plan for the fiscal year ending in March 2015. My first subject is an update concerning the consumer, PC online, and mobile markets, which are central elements of our growth strategy. The global game software market has changed rapidly during the past year. Increasing diversification of distribution channels caused by the growth of digital download sales is one cause. Another is the expansion of business domains because of the worldwide popularity of mobile devices. As this expansion takes place, we view changes involving the consumer, mobile, and PC platforms as an excellent opportunity. There are enormous opportunities for the creation and distribution of new content. Market surveys indicate that the size of the global game market is going to grow from $68.8 billion in 2014 to about $90 billion in 2019, an increase of about 30%. In the home video game market, light and dark blue sections of the graph, combined sales of the package and console online digital download categories are projected to increase from $21.6 billion in 2014 to $25 billion in 2019. The console online growth rate outlook is now higher than in the previous forecast. This forecast is reflected in our performance in the last fiscal year and is behind the ongoing changes in our business model. 
The home video game business has long been a major source of our contents, so that we will continue to focus on this area with the goals of developing more million sellers and increasing digital download sales. We have positioned the mobile market as one of our growing business sectors for some time. The previous forecast called for $28.6 billion of sales in this market in 2018, and the latest forecast is for $37.4 billion of sales in 2019. Most of the increase in the forecast is the result of stronger-than-expected growth in Asia. In the PC online market, sales are expected to remain at about the current level of $27 billion. For the consumer, PC online and mobile markets as a whole, Rapid growth in the past two or three years was propelled by strong mobile and digital download sales. This growth is expected to continue. As I will discuss in my game platform explanation later, Capcom plans to increase earnings in these three markets. Next, I will explain two components of our growth strategy. We will continue to concentrate on the consumer business and the online business for growth. In the consumer business, our plan is to retain the highly profitable framework of the previous fiscal year as we enlarge and strengthen the lineup of titles. We expect the operating margin in this business to remain at the 20% level. Digital downloads have increased from 18.3% of the consumer subsegment sales two years ago to 25.7% in the last fiscal year. We plan to continue increasing earnings as we concentrate on digital download sales of both full games and add-on content. In this fiscal year, we will start introducing titles based on our 60-month map, which we started with the structural reforms of fiscal 2012. This will give us a larger and more powerful lineup. In the online business, performance recovered in the past fiscal year as we eliminated unprofitable titles and re-examined our cost structure. Profit margins in the mobile and PC other subsegments were about 15% to 20%. In this fiscal year, we are aiming for sales growth in the mobile business by introducing Monster Hunter Explorer and other Capcom titles. In addition, we plan to strengthen the lineup of Capcom online titles with launches of titles like Dragon's Dogma Online and Breath of Fire 6. For overseas growth of our online business, we are targeting mainly the growing markets of Asia. We are working with Tencent Holdings Limited on the development of Monster Hunter Online for distribution in China. In addition, we are working with many publishers in China, Korea, Taiwan, and Southeast Asia. My next subject is our forecast for the current fiscal year. We forecast growth in sales and earnings because of our plan to expand the lineup of products in the digital contents business and the amusement equipments business. We forecast 11,723 million yen growth in sales to 76 billion yen, 1,418 million yen growth in operating income to 12 billion yen, and an operating margin of 15.8%. We are also planning on ordinary income of 11.7 billion yen, up 849 million yen, and net income of 7.6 billion yen, up 1,084 million yen. We forecast earnings per share of 136.94 yen and expect to pay a dividend for the fiscal year of 40 yen, the sum of a 15 yen interim dividend and 25 yen year-end dividend. Next, I will discuss our strategies and plans for each business segment. In the digital contents business, we plan on earnings that are about the same as last year in the consumer subsegment. We will introduce more major series titles and concentrate on digital download sales. We expect the consumer subsegment profit margin to once again reach our current target of 20%. In the current fiscal year, we will start selling more new titles in Japan and overseas. We will launch Street Fighter V and other titles in our popular game series. In addition, we will utilize our intellectual property with initiatives like creating HD remasters of popular games from the past. We plan on higher digital download earnings. For full game downloads, we will promote the sales of catalog titles and strategically launch add-on contents for major titles. Our goal is to extend the lifetime of these games. Furthermore, we will use Steam and other online platforms to increase digital download sales in emerging countries. Next, I will talk about our sales plan for major titles in the consumer subsegment. In this fiscal year, we will introduce a Monster Hunter-related title for the Nintendo 3DS series. 
We will announce the official name of this title at the appropriate time in relation to the launch. We plan on sales of 2.5 million units. For the PS4 and PC platforms, we will start selling Street Fighter V and our sales goal is 2 million units. Our outlook for the consumer sales volume in the fiscal year ending in March 2016 is 13 million units, the same as in the previous fiscal year. The number of titles will decline, but we anticipate growth of full game download units. We plan to launch 29 titles during this fiscal year, down four from the previous fiscal year. For package sales, we forecast a 300,000 increase to 4.3 million units in Japan, a 1.2 million decrease to 1.2 million units in North America, a 1 million decrease to 300,000 units in Europe, and a 100,000 decrease to 200,000 units in Asia. Overall, we expect package sales to decrease 2 million to 6 million units, but we forecast a 2 million increase in full game download sales to 7 million units. Furthermore, we expect the digital download sales ratio to continue to increase, primarily outside Japan. We forecast higher mobile content sales because of our plan to enlarge the title lineup during this fiscal year. Our goal is to utilize our powerful intellectual property to increase hit titles in Japan and other markets that will drive sales growth. For the Capcom brand, we will start sales of Monster Hunter Explorer this year. For the Beeline brand, we plan to achieve a recovery in sales by selling worldwide titles that target casual female game users. To increase sales of Capcom brand titles in Asia, we are working with T-Play Interactive, AsiaSoft Corporation, Kihu 360 Technology, and other prominent publishers in China, Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, and other countries. We will use these partnerships to introduce titles that use our core intellectual property. In the PC Other subsegment, we are building a more powerful profit structure by making greater use of major titles and introducing new titles in Japan and other countries. One measure to enlarge and reinforce titles in Japan is to invigorate the PC online game Monster Hunter Frontier G by constantly launching updates. In addition, we plan to start service for the PC browser game Breath of Fire 6 in the summer of 2015 and the online game Dragon's Dogma Online in 2015. We will launch more titles in Asia, too. In April 2015, we started closed beta testing for Monster Hunter Online, a joint title with Tencent Holdings Limited. We have decided to work with them on Monster Hunter Mezeporuta Kai Takuki and plan to launch this title later this year. In addition, we are preparing to start distributing a number of titles in Asia. In the digital content segment, we plan on growth in sales and earnings in the current fiscal year. We are making our content development and other operations more efficient and expanding the lineup of titles. We plan on a 3.2 billion yen increase in sales to 48.5 billion yen and an 800 million yen increase in operating income to 11 billion yen, which is an operating margin of 22.7%. We expect a 200 million yen decrease in package sales to 26 billion yen and no change in digital download sales at 9 billion yen, resulting in consumer subsegment sales of 35 billion yen. We expect a 1.4 billion yen sales increase in the mobile contents subsegment to 5.5 billion yen and a 2 billion yen increase in the PC other subsegment to 8 billion yen. Japan's amusement arcade market continues to shrink. The business climate in the past year was especially challenging, partly because of the impact of the April 2014 consumption tax hike. However, there has been little change in the number of large arcades at shopping centers. This is the primary category of our arcade operations. We believe there are still a significant number of opportunities for opening arcades in prime locations. Our goal is a recovery in arcade operations performance by targeting new customer segments and opening arcades in carefully selected locations. In the current fiscal year, we are using a variety of distinctly Capcom initiatives to invigorate arcades. For example, we are offering highly appealing attractions featuring Capcom characters and setting up food and beverage facilities at arcades. Our plan for existing arcades is sales growth of 1%. During this fiscal year, we will continue to close selected arcades while opening others. We plan to open four arcades and close two, resulting in a total of 35 locations. 
Our plan is to grow by creating more opportunities to earn profits and opening more arcades. In the fiscal year ending in March 2016, our plan is sales growth of 800 million yen to 10 billion yen and a 200 million yen increase in operating income, resulting in an 11% operating margin. The market for Pachislo machines, our main product in this segment, was growing until 2013. Then, as you know, there was a change in the testing method for these machines by the Security Communications Association. At this time, we need to evaluate the impact of the revised testing method on this market. In the arcade game market, sales have been generally steady in Japan during the past five years, although there have been changes from year to year. In this segment, we plan on higher sales and earnings in the current fiscal year. We plan to achieve growth by introducing new products that match market trends in both the Pachinko and Pachislo PNS business and arcade games sales business. In the PNS subsegment, we foresee steady sales of machines that comply with the revised rules. Our plan includes sales of 45,000 units of two models that we developed ourselves. We will also continue to make machines for other companies. In the arcade game sales subsegment, we will expand our lineup by adding new types of machines, like a music game. We plan to start operating a game called Crossbeats Rev this summer and the Luigi Mansion game in June. We plan to use these new titles in order to start creating new business opportunities. One example is a game-playing system that bills users through a network-based billing system. In this fiscal year, we expect sales growth of 7.5 billion yen to 15 billion yen and a 300 million yen increase in operating income to 3 billion yen, which is a 20% operating margin. There are two reasons for the temporary drop in profitability in this fiscal year. One is the longer time that each arcade machine will produce earnings due to the use of a network-based billing system. The other reason is the higher cost of developing Pachislo machines because of the revised testing method. We believe both of these reasons are one-time events. In the other business, our goals are raising awareness of our major brands and their maximizing earnings as part of our single content multiple usage strategy. In the character contents business, we are using movies, stage shows, and other channels to make people who do not play video games aware of our characters. Right now, there is a stage show called Gyakuten Saiban 2, Saraba Gyakuten Ace Attorney 2, that debuted on April 29th. In addition, we have tie-ups for our core brands with companies in other industries with the aim of reaching people who do not play video games. One example is our collaboration with Universal Studios Japan involving Monster Hunter and Resident Evil. As part of our corporate society responsibility activities, we allow local governments, museums, and other organizations to use characters from Sengoku Basara. In this fiscal year, our plan for this segment is sales of 2.5 billion yen and operating income of 1 billion yen. Capcom remains dedicated to meeting the expectations of all stakeholders. We are determined to do what is needed to achieve the goals that I have outlined today.